because they were cheering for uh, BDSM or whatever they're called. And uh, they were cheering in all caps, so it automatically gets timed out. And they thought that I did it because I was rooting against them. What is BDSM? What is BDSM? Why is everyone got you basing? Bondage? I'm not looking it up, chat. I swear to God, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it right. won't catch anything. So EG doing an excellent job of bleeding time here, but this is one of those defenses where when it collapses, it really goes down real fast. I think it's the best one they've seen so far. It's definitely different, and MVK opening things up is really nice. Fine sexy cake, but there's a player in behind that bakery. It's gonna be very difficult, but Mo, it's him, and he's gonna hit the shot that he needs to. Paula going down, Moringa finally answers back with one, but he gets traded, so Mo really stepping up in this one. He gets his third for Evil Geniuses, leaving it all to PSK, and he's up on the first floor. He was going for the old strategy where they just clear out those top floors and deal with those rumors, but there's no rumors to be found, and now PSK will realize that all of his teammates are gone. He just needs to deal with the last four defenders and Evil Geniuses all by himself. A little bit of uh, sight work going down from Evil Geniuses gives away somebody's position back behind there. But oh, on the bottom of the stairs, PSK finally gets one for this game, but it's next Crocs for the trade, and Evil Geniuses get their first round of the board in round number six. Low impact kill for PSK, but yeah, he breaks the donut, as you mentioned. And now you've got EG at least salvaging one round before we switch sides. A 5-1 on attack for Liquid. Maybe trying to get another one. Evil Genius is of course not going to be too happy with that. Takes a lot of damage and actually will get down and finished off by Geo. So his second on the round being a little bit disoriented. And I think we have some weird positioning coming up from Team Liquid. Moringa, you saw him briefly down in the basement. He's going to be in an interesting position where he can go in for a really late flank on a smoke. Something you almost never see. Sexy Cape dropping down as well. So they're almost giving up this top floor, which is uh, a bit of an issue, right? Because, uh, I mean, Evil Genius want to be up there. But yeah, here we go. E Sexy Cape going for a flank on an Echo. Excuse me? Geo not expecting him to be down there. Evil Genius is still going to make their way all the way down to the basement. So this is very, very nice. Team Liquid having all their anchors still alive. Sexy Cape just hiding inside of the bathroom. NVK. Does he know? He was looking there for a while. No, it doesn't seem like he does. Sexy Cake's on for just a moment. He's just running on in. Sexy Cake doesn't even need to A down sights. There's seven seconds. The plan is not going down just yet. Moringa so nice and easy sitting on this site. He's got a friend with him as well. Evil Genius has got to get down. They've got no time at all. Liquid are in, and they're going to be able to stop this from going down. It's round one for them. They actually won that round on kills. Not Flying on. through from the mute, and it's actually a double down here. It's actually a 1v2 here for Super on the mute. Can he possibly clutch this out? He actually is going to go for the pickup here. One to his teammate. That's going to give Apollo a chance to reload. So low HP here from two members of, from both teams. Golfie's going to have to try to come in here and try to go for a trade, but it looks like they're aware of this. As he comes flying around the corner, Apollo will rip his head off. Super finds one kill, and it leaves us in a 1v1. Both members are on pretty full HP. Super against Apollo. SMG with a shotgun against the Nomad with that AK in hand, but the Nomad charge is perfectly placed, but what? Super just walks through it and takes down Paulo? How does that happen? We heard the Nomad charge go off, but it didn't do anything. Attackers win. What in the, what probably happened was, it was probably at a weird angle where he put it, and so it went off, but the force and the impact of it did an awful lot on, you guessed it, Moringa and Sexy Cake, who have been the dynamic duo so far on this team. Moringa in particular with the smokes, gonna look to cut off and try and block any of the defenders from being able to retake. But these default plant spots that we see over by the circle desk, you know where they're going to be, whether they're in the smoke or not. MVK gets one on a PSK, but with 30 seconds left, EG are in the driver's seat here, looking to close this gap against Liquid. Yeah, Liquid's like probably going to get in the bump. This is a free kill for Paulo, though, as MVK just wanders into his crosshair. You like to see that one. He might get a second one on Circle Stairs. Yes, he will. Paulo with a double takes down Mo Digga, but Necrox with a trade puts it back to a two-on-two -two man count here in round number nine. Firing into the hallway, it'll be Sexy K to get his second kill of the round two. It's all on Necrox on the smoke. It's not part of the do it with missing those shots, though. That can be game-changing. Sexy kicks inside a piano. He's in a very strong position, but he needs to plant. There's five seconds. Moringa for the cover, and he'll just hit the shot. You don't even need to get the plant down in that situation. Team Liquid, beautifully done. Executed in round number nine. And that's match point as well for Liquid. Definitely. Um, as we see Super, he gotta go for an aggressive peek here on the piano before choosing to fall back. So playing it quite similarly to the way we saw Liquid with that mute. And again, without the Thatcher available, it looks like Sexy Cake is gonna be able to open up that wall anyway. 
possibly doing a prone hole. I'm not sure exactly how that was done, but no, it looks like he just opened it up normally. So, I'm gonna have to work here. Oh, it's the time. Only 30 seconds left. Still stuck in a 4v4 as it's an aggressive push up from Gonfi. What are you doing? He's just gonna get shut down there by Sexy Cake, ready for the push. God is holding a nice angle here, is just waiting for the push to come. Sexy Cake taken down to about one HP as PSK just propels into the new balcony. He'll take down one, that's two for Liquid as they'll clean things up. Paulo on the Nomad will find Goddess and Sleb in both headshots. What a round from Liquid. They should always transition from top down view. I think that would be cool. I don't know how easy that would be, but say. You're spectating somebody, you switch to top-down view, you move over, go to the next person, so it's immediately apparent where you're looking, who you're looking at, and what's going on. Whereas if you're just instantly swapping between player to player to player, you kind of have to reorient yourself constantly. So... I don't know. See Young falling to Nesk and Liquid getting a huge opening pick there. Yeah, that's huge for uh, Liquid, as you were mentioning. Evil Genius is now down a man. But time is on their side. 45 seconds for Liquid to try to make a move. And still going to do a Geo on that first floor. Likely to come up for making a flank. And Evil oh. Genius is equalizing with a great shot on Apollo. Oh, oh. Getting this plant down could be huge. So this gas canister is not going to be able to choke out the plants. Or Moringa takes a little bit of damage from it. But that doesn't matter. Beautiful shot he follows it up with on a Necrox. Puts it in a four on three. And with a plant down, this is huge for Liquid. Again, these tracks here seem so huge. Sexy take finding the back of one player. NVK getting down. That leads it all to Mo and Geo. Geo, as I mentioned. Can come up for this rotate with the plant down. It's got to move so, so quickly. Mo's going to be able to pick up one over by the front desk. Can he get any more than that, though? PSK falling is great, but he's still got two players to try to find. Sexy Kick gets one in the Mo. He cannot. And in the window is Moringa peeking in and finding the Mexican. Team Liquid will take round number seven and continue their lead. I... I cannot talk about how well Moringa and Sexy Cake are playing together. It hasn't... ...to this site. Looks like they're not even inside the building yet. They're just now entering piano will be sexy cake. But I mean, again, this has been given to you for free. So I'm, I'm curious as to why it's taking so long for this to happen. But it seems as though with about 45 seconds left, they're going to start to finally make this push happen. I think one of the biggest changes that actually came to this map was the fact that you have those new balconies to be able to hold this down. Paula finding the first kill on the round that's going to be on the net. Nesk following it up the kill of his own on to Sleb and not looking good for Sonics right now. 25 seconds left on the board. 25 seconds left indeed and it's going to be Nesk to shut down that jump out from Super as Sexy Kid takes down Goddess. Gonfi stuck in between a rock and a hard place in a 1v5 and it's going to be the flawless round here from Liquid, as we will be seeing them join us. Ask him if there is a pro player named Lord. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah. I was the original Lauren before God. Well, She's literally old enough to be your mom. <laughs> How old is she? I don't know. At least yeah, this guy's in terror. Like right? Wait, who's the fat one? Is that Ashlyn or Goddess? Yeah, I'll see you guys later, bro. Big tower. HP, oh, and two. Nesk just beheading Geo. This is rough. Free G and Team Liquid look poised to be able to take it. Necrox and Young, the last two remaining survivors on Evil Genius is to keep them alive in DreamHack Montreal. Keep them alive with their hopes of securing that second spot to the Invitational to come back here in about five months' time. Evil Geniuses desperately need this round if they want to be able to survive. Of course they do. Team Liquid already destroying these floorboards. There's two anchors on Evil Geniuses, but Young playing on that dock. Gonna give them a bit of an ACOG, of course. It's kind of like a discount maestro. That being banned out, not an opera they can use in this. Both those garage panels being opened up is very fast from Liquid. They continue their aggression. Young goes down. It's all on a Necrox and a one on four. He's got them pings. He's got some gas canisters, but is it going to be enough? The SMG 11 in hand on the track. Stinger's taking a lot of damage from that shotgun now. He's got to deal with these, but it's so slow to take care of them. Meanwhile, Sexy Cake's planting, but Moringa with the shotgun. It's Team Liquid 7 3, 7 2. Beautifully done by them against Evil Geniuses. Brazil's going to the grand finals. Oh, 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 this is my time. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, please. Fish, fish. Yes, oh, yes. Let's fucking go. Oh, my God.
How do I reload? Reloading. <laughs> How do I reload? Is it finger boost? I went left and left. Onde? 20 de vida, 20 de vida. Tá vendo onde? Tá pra cá? Pra direita, pra direita. Não! Não! Caralho, matão! Mano! Mano! Caralho, mano! Ainda bem que eu tava pra tela. Uh, from road, and uh, let's see exactly what they need to do here to uh, to continue this round of success. Vertical with another trade on the secret league that might give him blue. They got blue control now. This is looking good for Rogue. We talk about utility all day, but if Urkel's just walking in and getting triple kills, like, I don't think it matters, right? Oh, you don't have the hatches open. Oh, you do have the hatches open. Who cares, right? I mean, Urkel's in sight, and he's getting kills. One of his teammates will go down, that's easily, and so it's a bit of hard destruction that goes down, um, but I think you're fine, right? Vertical's in sight, a couple more players on Chaos. Why don't you get aggressive? They could flank in on him, that could be huge. If he's going down right now, it's about halfway planted. Hello, Vertical's gonna get his fourth kill of the round. Looking for the ace, he's walking into the bomb site, looking for it. Oh, it's behind the table. Pistol's in hand, he's up behind him, and he's gonna get the ace. Coming in big for Vertical. Oh. She's up bad, quick. Uh... Got caught doing it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, stick it in me. Uh, one friendly uh. <laughs> Just uh, shut up, shut up. Likely, shut up. Oh, 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 two people. Body. He's gonna get aggro. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, huge oh, kill. Now, this guy in the side hall doesn't necessarily know how to play it either because he doesn't know which way to take. No, got a jackal track. Oh, my oh, goodness. That out. He knows he's got fire coming back from the inside of garage. Oh, that as well. That's number what? three. Make oh. it for her. Oh, come on, guys. It's like cry magic actually got the fourth kill, but either way. Yeah, I Four thought. of you are in there. I, I know, I that was oh, that man. was rough. Dude. Jackal outside. Oh, you will Dr. be detected Stoker. if you remain in the area. I got Buck and Zofia. Yeah. Sure. Oh Perfect. shit. Buck down. I know where he's at. If he's right over there. Hello, Bray. I was not expecting that, Zofia. Holy shit. Yeah, he's still there. 100 HP, Jack. You got him in a tip peek? Okay. Yeah, the beast is right there. Jack of one. Four okay. remaining. That's right. Kitchen window. Kitchen. Right. Nice. Uh, four Woo! Good run out, Jaeger. Thank you. Doc knew I was that. I'm watching now. He probably heard his. Yeah. Oh, nah. TSM now is attempting the plant. Jarvis in the corner getting tased as best as he can. The Kaid swings out. Bolo can't hit the shots. No, at the last second, Jarvis oh, no. is down. You have to go for frags. Where's Astro? He's alive inside of blue. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I know we said he's even like cams. I, he is astonished. Phase three, three, a perfect tie to set us up for the second half. Who would have thought the round was gonna run to right beside the greats right now? And yep, there goes the yokai drone just above the door frame. Drones coming in, and they're gonna spot out PSK laying prone behind that island in the kitchen. Still have a lot of time to work with here for TSM to push through the smoke grenades come out from Jarvis to obstruct visibility, rushing on through and picking up the diffuser now will be achieved. Rotate back and go for the plant. And the sledge's way through bathroom, try to plant right on the breach hole. 15 seconds left. Now PSK will have to push through as the smoke expires. Jarvis still holding the cutoff from Kegs. Tucked into the right-hand corner. PSK with a little bit of a pre-fire. He knows he's going to be cut off. Now the plant is completed, so two guns facing directly at him. Checking his left-hand side just to be sure no one's tucked in behind the bomb chassis. You know, the frag grenade comes out again, suspending his ability to push on through and engage with these members of TSM. 
Working the tightest angle known to man will be Jarvis, and he'll back up to play it safely, and the tag team comes in. Achieve will lock that down. The duo will clean it up, and TSM will head into the half up 4-2. Yeah, two phases of, on this round. The first phase, gaining that top control, getting rid of that... Two clips were clipped of me getting...